Why hello champions, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the TLM color changing foundation. So I know I'm late on this bandwagon but who cares right as I'm still going to review it. I don't give a shit. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right into the video. So in today, so today I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face with a different moisturizer, one that you've already seen on my channel before. I reviewed it a cup like a, I think a year ago. It's the Multi Cream by Leovard. I really do love the company and everything and that they stand for. Uh, the fact that they use natural products. I did just shave, so I kind of need to add that moisturize moisture back into my skin Now lately during quarantine I've been doing like doing my makeup a little bit differently. Um, well not completely all of quarantine but I just recently started uh, using primer again. I know. Weird. But today I'm going to be using the uh, j the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. You don't need that much because a lot goes a long way. And I will be using the brush. So while that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and go make myself some coffee and be right back. So now that I'm back, let's get right into the video. So the let me read off what it says in the box because you know that I always do that. Um, so it says foundation, color changing, and adjusting naked. Like what the fuck? All day flawless, lit from within complexion. Perfectly flawless finish, and it does say SPF 15, 30 milliliters, uh, one US fluid ounce. I don't know what that E symbol is. Huh? It does say it's made in PRC, which is uh, China. Which you always want to be cautious about all of the products made in China. I mean, they do make some good products, but a lot of them, they put chemi like bad chemicals in. And, uh, let me just, uh, so on the back, it says color changing and adjusting naked foundation. Oh, I read that in the front. It says foundation with co resistium technology and hydra luminous complex fights the science of makeup meltdown and I, I I don't even know if these are the actual chemicals chemicals ingredients but let me just read them off titanium dioxide paraffinum liquidum liquid what paraffin ceramicero crystallina glycerol Stearate, petrolatum, silica, silate, hydroxy, citronella, 
you know what? All of these are foreign to me. Besides, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the ingredients. And it says it looks freshly applied all day long, lasts up to 16 hours, and result a luminous complexion. The heck? I don't believe you. Created for the very latest high definition technology of the film and TV industry. Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye. Perfect for the makeup pros and for you. Ultra HD foundation feels like a second skin but still provides medium coverage and the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. Invisible makeup? Really? It's like it's not giving me you're gonna be there? Yeah, okay. The fluid texture blends in seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify the skin's texture. Great for all skin types and features a full range of shades to cover all skin tones. Okay. So, I guess let's go ahead and apply the foundation. Just doing that to mix all the ingredients. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it with a brush. So right off the bat, it is change, like changing colors, but like, it's not my skin tone. I mean, my it is my forehead skin tone, but like, there's a white cast, like everybody else saw a couple years ago. Like, this has a fucking yellow undertone. I don't have a yellow fucking undertone, people. Oh my god, I can't imagine how it's gonna look around the fucking uh, beard area. I mean, at least it comes out of the bottle. Ugh, it smells like chemical and not good chemical. What the heck? Like there's literally no coverage at all. And I could tell that there's no coverage because it's not even covering my uh, freckles.
And like if you look, there's a literal white cast on my hand. Why the heck is it sticky? You're stupid. Let's see what it... Like, see, you can't even read what it says on the... On the bottle. Like, it does say the stuff that it said on the box. At least most of it, but... Let's give this a couple minutes, see what happens. And we'll be right back. Not looking forward to it because it's really not even doing shit. It looks like it was just sunscreen. Which, yeah, it has SPF in it, but still. I mean, after it's applied, it smells good. But, like, I wouldn't want that smell on my face, okay? Like, it looks like one side's, like, yellow and the other side's not. And then this is just, like, so dark. Like, what the hell? No. No, thank you. I like my complexion being even, not... three different colors. Hell no, I'm not using you again. You're going straight into the trash. Flawless finish my ass. So yeah, let's just give it a couple minutes. I'll be right back. So I could definitely say that I used more product on this side, but it still has more of... Oh, I didn't even do my nose. Nose is the... And the forehead are usually the testers. I mean, the ultimate... Uh, Determinators. I'm definitely gonna have. Ew. It's even left a white cast on my brush. Yeah, and it's leaving a white cast on my nose. Not very good. I don't like you. So, what I was gonna say is that even though I used a lot more makeup, a lot more of it on my on this side, I guess, um, it still had more of a light coverage, like a BB cream or something like that. SPF, it doesn't do anything doesn't cover anything doesn't do jock shit so would I say that uh, I'd use this again hell no no so I, I hope you guys like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up in the section down below don't forget to comment down below more video ideas you want me to do or want to suggest and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell bye guys love you